Welcome to this Windows and Computer Channel, and this is the Tech News Update. We are Tuesday, February the 26th, 2019, and today in our Tech News. Well, Satya Nadella has decided to respond to the employees that are complaining about the company's contract and ties with the U.S. military and the uh, very lucrative HoloLens contract that is $480 million. Of course, he said that it's important to help out. He said that, you know, you can't take decisions based only on what type of industry you are having contracts with. And that basically, uh, technology is technology. And, um, you know, whatever contract comes out of it um, is, you know, what we can take. And, of course, as he says, um, they've been very open about it. So I'm sure this is not going to help out any of the employees that are kind of frustrated. But anyways, you know, it's a pretty big contract. And uh, if it's not Microsoft, it's somebody else. Well, Donna Sarkar has mentioned that there is and there will be probably no slurring bells this week for insiders because there's a green screen of death issue if you are actually a gamer and have games that have anti-cheat technology. So they can't push a slurring build, which just kind of shows us that, you know, the slurring is kind of a joke once again. Well, the uh, open software, open source software is really getting more and more support upon tech giants. HP now has joined in the Linux Foundation as a silver member to promote and maintain open source. And of course, that also has other um, ideas behind it because Open source can also be used in many of the devices that they create at the same time. The numbers are in, and if uh, you were wondering where and why you don't have the Windows 10 version 18.09 or the October 2018 update yet, well, it reached 21% as of the end of February, and uh, that is one-fifth of Windows 10 PCs now. It's double from last month, but still not very, very good showing when you think about how the April 20, um, April 2018 update had reached more than 90%. Well, if you are looking for fast and expensive and big SD cards, well, the uh, march for the SD cards, the big SD cards is on. Many of them have been announced this week. One of them uh, claiming to be the world's fastest one terabyte SD card by SanDisk. And it features write and read speeds of 160 megabytes per second. So uh, if you got the money, you've got the card. A interesting um, thing happening with the uh, Xbox One and Windows 10 gaming. Um, we were talking yesterday about how the um, infrastructure and all everything is being tweaked and and really uh, in a major um, redesign, if you want. The uh, latest tests that are being done with the Windows Insider seems to confirm this also. It's that uh, basically what Microsoft wants is in an effort uh, to have native Xbox One games run on Windows PCs. So this is interesting and we'll see how it goes through the year and how well it works. Well, a group of academics have found that some security flaw exists in 4G and 5G networks. And that basically it would make it possible for attackers to intercept phone calls and do location tracking of users of smartphones. It's the first time that such a flaw is discovered in multiple generation uh, connectivity. But um, that's something that I guess will need to be tweaked. So do workers have the right to disconnect? And that's a very, very fair question. Some cities are considering the building of regulations that would give employees the right to disconnect after their day is over. Tech leaders say there's no necessary, it's not necessary to do so. They already have and already do. Um, so when the work is over, uh, they have time for other things. But apparently a lot of employees are saying, yeah, we kind of need regulations because we go home and it seems that work never ends because of the always connected society that we are in. A study suggests that in the U.S. alone, by 2020, the 5G rollout will require a massive investment of $2.7 trillion. This is to upgrade everything from modems, routers, IoT equipment, and the infrastructure as a whole 
to make sure that uh, basically everything's fast, everything's good. It will at the same time create tons of new tech jobs. Well, a, stu a study by Adobe is uh, saying that digital assistants, assistants seem to uh, actually have uh, a better and a more positive look by consumers. 54% of them say that the voice assistants work well. 41% say they work okay. Only 5% seem to say that they are bad. Well, last year, at the same time, that study said that only 37% said they work well. I guess more and more people are finding that they're better and that um, they actually work decently, basically. And finally, Brad Sams of Petri has revealed some details of Windows 10 Lite. It would be a very light version of Windows 10. Could um, have similar out-of-the-box experience on the install side. It would run apps from the Windows, the Microsoft Store, but it's um, it's it's not close to uh, Win32 apps. And uh, basically, it uh, looks a little less like Windows, a little more like Chrome OS when you look at the uh, pictures that he posted. And so this was the Tech News Update for Tuesday, February the 26th, 2019. Enjoy our videos. Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.